Hello, everyone. Thank you for attending another episode of uh, Real Estate Investing. And uh, my name is Si Wing Yi from the Yi Real Estate Network. And my uh, podcast uh, video guest speaker, once again, is Mr. Richard Advani from Supreme Lending. He does financing for all real estate investors in all 50 states. He also does owner occupied primary home buyers, uh, mortgage loan financing as well. So he's been there, done that, been done for many, many years. One of the top 1% of all the loan consultants in the country. So glad to have you aboard, Richard. I know you are a very, very busy man. You done, you do tons of loans <clears throat> every single day, every single second. So thank you for taking the time once again to, uh, to share your wisdom, your knowledge about real estate investing and I appreciate uh, your helping out uh, with me. Thank you so much. So, so without further ado, let's talk about something that we have not talked about really uh, about the, the, the challenges and obstacles of real estate investors. Now, before we begin, now there's a reason why real estate for the longer time, for the past millennium, for the past uh, uh, century, <laughs> <laughs> it is the most lucrative investment asset in history, and it has been, it will be, will continue to do so. And yet, why, why, why is it? Why is the return in, uh, uh, in real estate is higher than most other, virtually all other asset class? Let me, let me give you my, my thought, okay? You and I have been doing this for a long, long time. Uh, my thought is, my initial thought is, is the uh, is a scarce resource. It is a uh, is a barrier to entry for most people. Now let's 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 do an apple to apple comparison. Do you know why the stock market and the mutual fund industry, in which most you know you know regular people invest, right? You do with mutual funds very easy, right? You uh you 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 put in monthly of twenty five or, or fifty dollars. You could be in. Uh, a, a American consumer could be in any demographic, in any economic class, and they could buy a mutual fund. They could do a monthly deduction, bank draft, into a $50 per month, into a mutual fund account, right? So that is a stock market. So it's, it's easy to enter. If an investment asset class is easy to enter, historically, the return are not that high. When, a, when, a, when an asset class is very, the barrier to entry is challenging, it is difficult, the return is much higher because, well, you know, that's, that's, that's human nature, that's fundamentals. So, uh, so, so when I say that, uh, you know, as we move into the, you know, this particular decade, I mean, consumers out there, I know a lot of people have no money to invest in real estate. We all get it, right? Some people have no credit. Some people, people doesn't have enough down payment. But we, you have to make the argument. A lot of people have a lot of money now, right? I think, uh, you know, with the, uh, people make, make a lot of money with, with their jobs, with their salaries. And yet, uh, the biggest obstacle I, I feel is uh, the barrier to entry. Very few people enter real estate. It's just uh, it's not so much about financial uh, um, background. It's that. It's not even education because education, you know, you know, Richard, I mean, people can learn about real estate, not only from our free education that I provide for my network, but people can click on YouTube videos. They can find anything they want about any topic in uh, 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 about everything, including real estate, right? Very easy to access, access information. And yet, yeah, so, uh, Richard, you as a loan agent, you, the first time you consult with a, a person with, when they contact you to, to get a to get an investment loan or whatever loan but you do not understand for every uh, loan prospect you get Richard there are 99 other uh, individuals that are not talking to you or not talking to a loan agent for every one person doing investment loan there are 99 others are waiting on the sideline waiting for whatever, forever, who knows? So, you know, we always talk about the top 1%. Yeah, yeah, always the top 1% always makes it, whether in real estate or whatever. And 
I think 99%, you know, they will, you know, go about the business, you know, just live a, a life of uh, mediocrity, whatever. It, that's fine. So, so my take at the bottom line is uh, education is not enough. Real estate education is not enough. Uh, 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 it, it just, it, it's more, than, it's much more than that. So my, my first initial thought is, is the uh, people have a mental block. People have been programming all their life. From the moment, from their, when they're a young, a young child, they've been programmed to think, oh, you cannot do this, you cannot do that. Oh, don't do this, don't, don't buy real estate, it's too risky, don't, uh, you're not deserving, you, uh, you're not worthy. Uh, just stick with uh, you know, uh, uh, our parents or whoever that raised us when we were young, when you and I were young, three, four, five years old, our money blueprint has been, has been established because the programming, the conditioning that as an American consumer been getting all their lifetime, tell them, don't do this, don't buy this, don't, uh, don't rock the boat. Uh, uh, is, uh, and, and the best way to do it when your parents tell you, oh, uh, uh, get educated, uh, go to college, work with somebody else, you know, get a salary, get a stable job, you know, and hopefully by the age of 65, you get, a, you know, you, you, you achieve retirement. Right, the traditional thing. So, so this investing is so foreign to people. Uh, to to me and you, the accessibility of real estate investing is much greater right now than ever before. When you and I started investing twenty years ago, we didn't have YouTube videos. We didn't know about buying out of state turnkey. You know, sight unseen, remote, uh, with property management, uh, doing everything for you. You don't have to talk to the tenant. You don't have to deal with uh, eviction. You have you don't have to fix the uh, rehab the property yourself. Now. I mean, you know, everything is turnkey. I mean, I know there are many different ways to invest in real estate, but the way you and I do it is turnkey. You know, uh, let the property management uh, does most of the things for you. Uh, you know, become as passive as possible so you can buy five, 10, 20 properties out of state and not having to, uh, not needing to spend more than one hour per week, you know, managing your portfolio. So, so my take is, Obstacles, uh, the uh, negative money blueprint, uh, the inability to uh, to uh, to overcome fear. Fear is the biggest obstacle. The fear comes from systematic programming when ever since we're young. Unless we re when we become an adult, uh, uh, and unless we decide consciously to reprogram our money blueprint to allow abundance into our financial lives, and then have the ability to take action, execute on action, uh, then that is the key to uh, not only real estate success, but financial success in general. So as if I take, what is your philosophical uh, thoughts about what, what I just shared? Well, you went pretty deep um, and I actually concur and agree with everything you said, right? In this country, uh, we're brought up in probably most households saying, get a college degree, get a good job, buy a house, essentially spend all the money you make, but have a 401k, right? Have a great 401k. And then someday when you're 65, um, hopefully that 401k will have enough money in it uh, for you to live the rest of your life. And that's kind of the blueprint set up um, for it's funny that's like the successful american life right is going to college getting a degree buying a house uh, excuse me getting a getting a nine to five with a good 401k buying a house and then you know most people in this country no matter how much you make live paycheck to paycheck so you know if you're making 150 grand a year after taxes most of us are spending everything that we're making and once again though we're going to have this 401k right that's that's that that's this parachute uh when we get to retirement age uh, what people have been waking up to the last five or 10 years is more often than not, even if you follow that American dream model, that 401k, it's not going to cut it, right? It's not going to be able to allow you to live into retirement. Plus people are living longer, right? Which is good. But, you know, before you retire, when you're 58 to 62, 63, well, the average life expectancy was maybe 10 years after that. You know, now it's 20 years after that. And, you know, as, as people, we need to um, invest. And, you know, as you mentioned, real estate is, is really the, the, 
best path towards building long-term wealth. And, uh, you know, you need additional vehicles to push you on those 20, 30 years, even if you have a good retirement. Um, and you need a good hedge against inflation. There's no better hedge against inflation than real estate via a 30 year fixed. And it's funny, like you said, you know, 99.9% .9 of people won't even make it across my desk or your desk because they're stuck in analysis paralysis. And then, you know, the market moves up in the year or two while they're stuck in analysis paralysis because it's, you know, that's what it does. And then they get further into analysis paralysis, right? They're like, oh, well, now it's gone up. Now maybe I should wait. Or is it the right time? Um, you know, it's, it's always the right time. You know, and there's a strategy to investing as well. You know, if you've got 300 grand to invest in real estate, the market is high right now. That doesn't mean you invest all 300 grand at one shot, right? You dollar cost average by two this year, by two next year, by two the year after, or one, whatever the number is. And whether you buy here today and it goes down a little in two years, well, guess what? You're buying again and you dollar cost average. As a whole, though, real estate is and has been continually going up. There'll be cycles in between, but you know, it's you guys, it's simple economics, right? What's the basis of economics? It's supply and demand. Okay. There's limited supply of homes. The demand is healthy and real from qualified people. Uh, and that demand is only going to continue to increase because people are living longer. There's more and more people on this planet every single day. And there's not more and more land being made. Uh, and, you know, the projections of, uh, you know, how many homes need to be built versus how many are on track to be built, we're still millions and millions and millions of homes behind. And that housing shortage is going to exist. I mean, I, I feel like it's, it's, it's essentially, it's been the, the struggle of, of humankind since the beginning of time, right? As population increases, building more homes and infrastructure to be able to accommodate those people. And, you know, look at a general census. World populations are going up every year, sharply. And that's not going to change. So, you know, sitting on the sidelines waiting for, for the right time to buy, um, is going to cost you a lot of money. And all of us have made those mistakes, myself included. I'm sure, you know, yourself included early on in our invest real estate investment careers. But there's so many people that had conversations with me a year and a half to two years ago um, about why they were going to wait. And, uh, you know, everything's gone up and blah, 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 and we're going to wait. And those people are kicking themselves today because in the last two years, no matter where you are in the country, you've seen a 20 to 40% increase, you know, and, and, you lost all that potential gain by, you know, reanalyzing it. But guess what? That money sat in your bank account and made 0.6%. Inflation was eight to 10%. Guess what? If you had a million dollars in there, you probably lost 8% of that, which I know you guys can do the math. You lost almost six figures by doing nothing. Yeah, well, uh, Richard, I mean, you're absolutely right. I mean, you, you know, everything you said is factual, is, uh, you know, is, 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 is logical, right? Is is rational, but at the same time, I'm gonna go back to the uh, emotional, uh, mental side of a of a human being, the, the human behavior. Uh, you know, every individual out there, uh, especially people that can afford it financially to buy investment property or any kind of properties, uh, is 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 all about the the mental makeup. Is the is the DNA. You know, you really. You know, I mean, each person has to look in, look themselves in the mirror. I mean, you know, can I do it? Can I overcome fear? Can I overcome my all the negative programming? Can you, can 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 each one of us subconsciously, you know, just just you know, condition change our ways? All the negativity that we we have received, not only from our parents growing up, uh, but but from society, from the environment, from from the all the negative news we uh, we hear we see on TV and on uh, on uh, the general public, it's just so much negativity. It it just just it just paralyzes. All you know the social media, the the public, they they put in so much negativity into people's brain and just paralyzes people. So each to me, each investor, or whatever consumer, they need to. Uh, you know, they need to prioritize, focus, and commit, and, you know, just, just, you know, delete all the noises, you know, there's so much negativity. So, 
And a lot of things we cannot control, Richard. I mean, the inflation, yeah, is historical high, but we cannot control inflation, right? I mean, uh, so so we can control our, okay, like the economy, you and I, we cannot control it. I mean, it's, you know, there's so many uh, things going on, but we, each one of us individually can control our quote unquote personal economy. Focus on your financial goals, reprogram yourself, have positive thoughts, you know, uh, uh, and commit and show focus and discipline and ex uh, uh, take action, you know? And uh, so it's easier said than done. Wow, I mean, it's just so much challenges. I mean, I wish I could spend more time with some of my investors that for years, they've been part of my database. <laughs> they, they watch my weekly newsletters for the past 20 years. And I see their emails, same person. I mean, same hundreds and hundreds of people every week, right? I know who they are. Uh, <laughs> they just can't take action. I mean, it's it just, in a way, it's frustrating for me. In a way, it's not because sometimes I reach out and talk to some of them people, same thing, but the same old ants excuse, right? Oh, oh, the market's too high. Oh, I'm going to wait until the right time. Or, uh, or and, and they, some of them, they try to be smart. They like, they act like, oh, oh, uh, because of the, uh, of the federal uh, Fed rate and uh, this uh, real estate guru, uh, you know, give us all the technical jargon stating right now is, uh, is not the right time because the bond rate or because inflation rate, they use all kind of, they try to sound so smart, but uh, now try to give me some excuses for not doing something, not buying real estate, right? So, and I said to myself, no, you don't have to impress me with your technical jargon to justify you not taking action. It's all about, take a look at you in the mirror. I mean, <laughs> take a look in the mirror. I mean, do you, can you take action? Can you overcome fear? Can you reprogram yourself, you know? Delete, delete all the years of systematic brainwashing that you have that, that has occurred in your in your life from the time you're four years old until now that you are an adult. If you have the ability to overcome fear, to uh to reprogram your thinking, then then uh that's that's a good start. So uh <laughs> I know I'm being very philosophical, uh, Richard, because uh I know I, you and I understand human behavior, right? You and I have been doing it for a long time. The few, uh, you know, the few small percentage investors that you and I work with, you know, we enjoy working with them because, you know, they are awesome individuals. They are highly motivated. They're highly committed. They keep on taking action. Uh, they, they understand risk. They have mitigated the risk about real estate investing. And they continue to move forward, buying properties, out of properties, repeat the whole a process, you know, I mean, it's like to them, you know, real estate wealth is like, it's almost like automatic. I mean, because they, they get it, they, you know, they have this DNA, they have the it factor. So uh, anyway, I mean, I have to uh, let this out because I, you know, you, you know, I have several thousand members on my database and sometimes I get frustrated, you know, why so many people out there are not taking action? I mean, you know, you know, all the markets are presented for the past 10 years. I have to say that to my knowledge, I don't think anybody lost money. If you invest for the long term, three, five, 10 years, invest for long term, overcome all any kind of challenges in your investment portfolio, you'll be fine. Don't, you know, it's long term, think, commit to the long, long goal, be, be positive, you know, uh, you know, all those mental attributes that people need to take a step back and just get to know themselves, you know? I mean, do, do they have what it takes to, uh, to be uh, uh, for financial success? So that is my final take, I know. So uh, we went in, uh, almost done with this uh, webinar. So what is your, your takeaway? What is your recap? <laughs> I think you kind of covered it uh, pretty well, you know, getting out of your mind and understanding that how we're pre-programmed uh, as, as humans and as investors and we're risk averse and how a lot of times we also identify things as risky that aren't, you know, buying out of state real estate is not risky at all. And it is a good investment and, you know, um, set your fears aside, like, like Sea wing said, and start with your first one and you'll see it's real. And then the rest will happen. It's just 
literally making and taking that first step. Yeah, Richard, one final thing, okay? You know me, I mean, I'm very hands-on. I love coaching, mentoring my, uh, my members, my investor uh, database, and uh, especially the VIP, the, uh, the serious ones out there. So, I mean, you know, they all know that. They keep giving me feedback about, you know, that I love hand-holding, mentoring, because I enjoy working with people. It's a people business, it's a communication business. You too, right? I mean, you you and your team, you are not a just a loan agent. You are a advisor, right? I mean, every time you talk to a, a, a loan prospect that I send to you, to my knowledge, I like the way you, from a holistic kind of view, uh, way, you interview them. The way you interview them, you ask about what is your real estate goals? why you want to buy this property. I mean, uh, what is your motivation to come to me to get financing uh, uh, to a loan? So, I, I, so you and I have to think holistically. We have to, uh, you know, uh, understand people's goals. It's not, it's not a, you know, what we're selling is not a product. It's a service, it's a, it's a, it's a dream, it's a goal accomplishment. So, so you know, and uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So any one final thought you have, I mean, uh, what I just said? <laughs> uh, no, get off the sidelines and give Seawing a call. Try to identify a market. Give myself a call to get qualified. Rates are still low, even though they've gone up pretty sharply this year. So if you've been uh, procrastinating on getting any refinances done or accessing cash from some of your properties that have appreciated, now is the time to do it. Give me a call. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Richard Avani from Supreme Lending. Thank you for your time and your another great perspective and wisdom. Thank you so much. This is Siwin Yi from the Real Estate Network. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Good luck in your financial future. Bye-bye.